Well, seems like we have to talk about eGPU. Probably the most asked question on my stream feed, whatever, wherever, is why does my eGPU not work the way I expected it to work? Well, it's a complex issue. First of all, you have to think about the connection. One Thunderbolt 3 connection, so not the old system. Don't try it with a, a 2011 machine with Thunderbolt 2, doesn't work. So one Thunderbolt 3 connection to your system. Don't connect anything else in between or on that box. There are certain eGPU boxes out there that have like a USB hub or even you can put in SSDs and stuff like that. Don't do it. You need every single bandwidth you can get. Um, graphics cards usually use 16 PCIe lanes with Thunderbolt. Three, you get four, so you really need all the bandwidth you can get to your system and to the graphics card. And then you also should connect at least one display, maybe two or three, to your eGPU, to the graphics card inside of your eGPU. And then also set up this display as your main display in system preferences, just with this small white bar just push it to the display you have connected to the eGPU and you are good. And then if you have anything playing back video or pictures or whatever, you should have that on this main display you just selected. Um, in this case Final Cut with video preview. And don't have anything else like video preview or anything that plays back video on the monitor, in this case, this one, this is connected via HDMI to the Mac mini or put something that plays back video on the MacBook Pro screen because then the system has to process that, send it back to the graphics card and back to the system and so on. It will um, slow down your system basically. Also check your application if you can set um, the eGPU preferences. Um, sometimes it is inside the software, like for Final Cut Now, it's inside the software. Resolve, it's inside the software. Uh, I think in Photoshop and Lightroom, you could choose it in software as well. But sometimes it's also in the Finder. So go to the application, right click, go to Info, and then you might have a checkbox that says Prefer External Graphics Card or eGPU. So check that as well. So this is also the main part. Um, then there's also things like codecs. What codecs you are using inside of the application? What render codecs did you select? What sequence codecs, especially in Premiere, what sequence codecs do you have select? If you export or render, what codecs do you use that for that? Um, this also affects how the eGPU is used or even if the eGPU or the GPU inside of the eGPU can handle those codecs. Sometimes it's not optimized for that. So H.264 is sometimes a tricky thing, especially in compressor or even inside of Final Cut 10. If you export H.264, the external graphics card is not used for whatever reason. Maybe because the graphics card is not optimized or has any performance gain or it's a software thing, or it's not an optimized driver. I have also a workflow video up online. You can see how I export stuff for YouTube and why I don't use compressor. So those are just a few options or the main things that you have to consider if your eGPU isn't working properly or if you're thinking about getting an eGPU. So uh, now the question is, does a eGPU still makes sense nowadays. Well, for certain system, yes. For most of the Macs, not really. So in my case, I have a Mac Mini, and for that, it's perfect basically because there is no GPU inside of the Mac Mini. So I have to have to use an eGPU, just simple like that. Especially for all my monitors. For the 13-inch MacBook Pros with no GPU inside, also good and valid option. 
Um, but keep in mind, I think the lowest end only has two Thunderbolts uh, ports and also just, I think, yeah, they share the same controller. I'm not quite sure. But for all the system without an internal GPU that have four Thunderbolts ports, you're good to go. For all the newer systems like the 2016 MacBook Pro or the iMacs, all the newer ones, the iMac Pro, and especially for the Mac Pro, doesn't make sense to have an eGPU at all, I think. So now the question is, what GPU to put inside of an eGPU? Well, if you just want a bit more performance, if you have a lot of displays uh, connected, the RX 580 8GB is still a good option, I think, um, if you get one for a good price. So it's the entry level. Even an RX 570 might help a bit um, if you get a 4 gig version, but yeah, RX 580, I think. Then there's also the Vega 64 on a used market. Um, this is basically the sweet spot, so to say. Um, this is solid. Uh, Radeon 7, mm, not quite sure if you get any uh, of those cards anymore. Uh, even though this is the top of the line from AMD and I have it and it works good, but it's really expensive and not on the market anymore, I think. So the best card might be the RX 5700 XT because this is basically the card that is or will be inside or will be available for the Mac Pro. Um, it's the same card, more uh, RAM, I think but it's the most modern uh, chip and has all the bells and whistles and might get performance boost in terms of optimization um, for the driver because it is basically the Mac Pro card. Um, we will see. So that might be a good card in terms of performance right now. It is a little bit better than the Vega 64. I did test this card and maybe in the new system a new Final Cut 10 that comes out at some point it will be better performing than the Vega 64 and maybe even better than the Radeon 7. We will see. So that's basically it. That is everything I can say about eGPU right now. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. I am going to bed now. It's really late. It's like Oh, 12.30 in the night. Um, so, yeah. By the way, how was the sound? I recorded this with the video mic NTG with the wireless Go connected to the A7R. And also I have the Tamron 28-75. And the autofocus, shout out to Philip Loom, seems to be all right. I had issues with the 51.4 from Sigma. Well, anyways, funny enough, I had this lens before, didn't like it, but uh, somehow I bought one again. And this time I'm, I might keep it actually, because for all the projects I'm shooting right now, documentaries, interviews, stuff like that, it's really a solid thing. Yeah, so seems to be nice. Good night.